In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can take square roots of negative numbers. First, with a real basic example, the square root of negative 16. As we do this, we're going to split this into two parts. There's the negative and the 16. Whenever we see a negative under a square root, we remember that the square root of negative 1 is i. Any negative number under a square root will pull an i out, and that takes care of the negative. From there, we simply have the 16 left, and the square root of 16 is 4. So the square root of negative 16 is 4i. We can follow a similar procedure with square roots that don't come out as evenly, such as the square root of negative 24. Because we can't take the square root of 24 evenly, what we've done in the past is we factored the 24. Let's ignore the negative for a moment. 24 is 6 times 4, 6 is 2 times 3, and 4 is 2 times 2. And we're taking a square root. With square root, we're looking for pairs. You might see a pair of 2's, so a 2 is outside the radical. Inside the radical, we have 2 times 3, or 6. But what about the negative? If there's a negative under the radical, it can always come out of a square root as an i. The square root of negative 24 is 2i, times the square root of 6. How about this example? The square root of negative 6 times the square root of negative 3. We actually cannot multiply these radicals together until we first simplify them and pull out specifically these negatives. Those negatives can each come out as an i. i root 6, times i root 3. Multiplying what's outside the radical, then, i times i is i squared. However, we recall that i squared is equal to negative 1. Inside the square root, 6 times 3 is 18. You might notice we can simplify the 18. 18 is 6 times 3, or 3 times 2, and there is a pair that we can pull out. They both have a 3. So we have negative 1 times 3, or negative 3, and left inside the square root is a 2. Our product is negative 3 times the square root of 2. Using this idea that the negatives come out as an i of a square root, we can simplify the remaining radicals just like we've always simplified radicals in the past. i is the square root of negative 1.